Now that's intriguing. I think I'd be I think I'd be really good, really good at surviving at at an island for like two days or three days. Two days. <laughs> and then I go, I go you first start by eating crazy. your own leg. Okay, this one actually seems. No, I think, I think I'd be pretty. I think the first like first couple of hours I'd be kind of freaked out. Yeah. But I think from there thing. I'd be like, well, I'm, yeah. I'm 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 here now, you know. I'm gonna make the best right, of it. Right. Get, get on that one. Get on that one. I think about like two days in, I would completely lose my mind out of boredom. Right. Ah, vacation or, time. Uh, Enjoying a relaxing cruise sure. when suddenly you realize that everyone is running out in a panic. The ship is sinking. What's the first thing you think you think to do? Um, what is the first thing you think to do? Check friend, check for the friends or loved ones I came with. Seek from help from the captain. Hightail it to the lifeboats. Grab anything useful I see. Which one? Which one would you do? Um, how how just... likely is the uh, mortality rate of this, this crash? Well, look at I'm looking at the little boat there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, there's, there's other boats, so it looks like you're pretty close to. Okay, so imagine, close. I guess we're all going down. Everyone's going down. That's the only way this would work. Or else we'd be saved instantly and came over. Um, I feel like I would scream, because that seems like my personality, but uh, I, what, what, what's what's closest to me in my heart is my friends, so I guess I would check with the friends and loved ones I came with. I think I'd grab anything useful. And by grab anything useful. useful. By anything useful, I mean anything expensive I can find. <laughs> you grab the rudder of the ship. That's the reason we're going down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, I'm going next one. All right. So you slowly wake, wake up, up and look around. You you washed up on the shore of an island, weird. and all you have is a lighter, a knife, a hatchet, a gun with limited ammunition, and a pair of binoculars. Oh. I would pair have. Binoculars. Okay, yeah, uh, here. Send that link to Carson. You send it to Carson. Fine, I'll send it to Carson. Carson, you're getting in on this. Yeah, Maybe a lighter, depending on the day, but... Knife, what do you really? do, Carson? I know how to start a fire without a lighter. Oh, that's a true. gun would if um a gun like starting a fire without a lighter is annoying and it's time consuming. Mm -hmm. But it's something but first of all, it's something to do. It's um it keeps you active and it um um it's it's just like the hardest it's it's hard, like honestly. Um, but it's doable. You just have to keep going. It's just repetition. Um, I guess. I hatchet, guess I never thought about that. Yeah. Um, a hatchet. I think about less a hatchet would be the most useful thing, but I think it's one of the least likely things to have on you. I mean, who cares yeah. about a hatchet? Well, See, like. Yeah. You wash up on uh, an island. I think actually, like a gun, sure, but you run out of ammo. A pair of binoculars, I can go. Like the, the oh, only you thing use I can binoculars see, for to make fire. Fire, technically. Yeah. Make a fire, and you could also use it as uh, use the the reflection of the glass to signal any passerby. Mm -hmm. Any yeah. passing boat, um, but technically you could do that with a fire as well. Yeah. So, so what um, are you gonna so I think like rocks, spelling out. SOS. I think I'm gonna go with a knife because with knife. Um, a knife because a hatchet. I honestly think would be pretty useless to me. Hmm. Fair enough. Because what I'm, I'm gonna what am I gonna do? I could cut down things and make a good house. But that's just a lot of time, and it takes up a lot of energy. I'm just gonna make a lean to. I'm gonna make something that'll keep me alive, not something nice. Yeah, I, I guess I guess I, I'm kind of on the butt end because I got to listen to both of your rationale. My initial thought was a lighter, right? Mm -hmm. And I guess that's nice. But when it comes down to it, I'm like, if, I won't think rationally when I first get there. But if I am thinking about me as Mason, and I had to choose, I guess I would go against you, Carson. I would say I would go for the hatchet. 
mainly because I know I can do a lot more with that because of my build and height, right? Not how height has nothing to do with mm -hmm. it, but because of my build. Because I know I can just move with it. Yeah. So I'm going to have to go with a hatchet, even though I, it's true. I really want to pick the lighter, mm -hmm. but I now I'm sucky because I heard to, you're too rationale. So I'm going to have yeah. to go with the hatchet. And honestly, like, so, like, here's... Here's another reason why I don't go with the hatchet. The next question. After assessing your situation, you, out of all these, there's only one answer to a proper survivalist. Mm -hmm. Search for drinkable water. Search for drinkable water, yeah. Me, perks, I think I would I would look for food before I look for water. But, I think, which is what I'm going to go for. But I think drinkable water definitely would be the first priority. Or I'm still for me, you're like... You're gonna die of thirst way before you die of hunger. Oh yeah. Cry and curse my least, luck. Uh, <laughs> it really depends on like what the island looks like as well. If there's a lot of like shade, then not so worried about it. But like if it's just straight heat exposure, gonna yeah. gonna really minimize the time you survive without water. Yeah, like look for food, sure, but like. It depends upon the type of food. If you can't find any form of vegetation, then you're going to have to fish or hunt. And then, um... I mean, if you're hunting, though, like, what kind of... How big of an island is this? Yeah, it all depends upon how big of an island. Like, that's why yeah. fishing. Evidently, there's there's going to be fish. Yeah. I, just, I, feel like I feel like if you can... If you're able to hunt on an island, I feel like there's more than likely some form of people or person there already. If there's it, it all an ecosystem. It all depends. Yeah. So mine is search for drinkable water. Mm, I guess there was. So did you guys ever? Uh, uh, huh. What's your What's your take, Mason? You know, I guess if, if I'm thinking about it, I grabbed my hatchet, right? I wouldn't think instantly to grab, look for food or drinkable water. I would think more, and sure, I might cr cry or curse my luck, but that's not. That's not necessarily what I would do. I, I guess I would either seek out or build a shelter first, and then uh, look for water and stuff. Because I need a base of operations to come back to. Making a fire, that can go into a shelter. I, so that's what I would go with. Yeah. That's fair. Um, I mean, it's... See, a lot of this stuff's very situational. Like, again, like right. it kind of depends on... The time of day when you get there, like if it's kind of first thing 3, in the morning. 5 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like if it's nighttime, then I'm not gonna think about. I'm gonna think about sleeping. Not gonna lie. Yeah, you're just gonna you're gonna kind Screw of. Screw it. I get eaten by animals on the beach. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking like Hunger Games type of thing where you get there in the morning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If it's if it's thing. night, I'm immediately going to cover myself with something. <laughs> just sand. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Oh, my thing's... Right, okay. Like, Interesting. All right, I'm just making um, sure we all have the same one for the next... What kind of shelter will you make the next one? Yeah. yeah. They're all okay, generic. just double checking. It's all the same. What kind of shelter will we make? Something high up like a treehouse? Something on the ground like a lean-to? Something underground like a bunker? Something in the face of a cliff or cave? Something in the open like a hut? What would you go with, Carson? Treehouse, too much time. Uh, cliff or cave, something's living there um, already. <laughs> Some um, kind of spider or something. something, uh, something it pro like, it provides the opportunity a of a cave, you know? That's what's nice. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it pro provides the opportunity. And also, like, I might go there. Like, if there's a cliff or a cave, I'm not living there. But I might go there and in, in search of, like, water. Because evidently there's rocks. And if it rains... I can collect the water that runs off the rocks. Ah, that's true. Um, um, in the open, like a hut, um, for me, if there are wild animals and suddenly you build a hut, an animal is going to be like, what's this? If you mm -hmm. go to lean to mm -hmm. that's on the ground, they're not going to know. Like, they might be like, oh, there's a, a, a tr something fell on the ground. Yeah. They will. I mean, I don't want right. to say it, but animals are kind of dumb in a way. So they, I don't think they think too much about like a little lean to. It depends. It depends if it's like a, um, like Welcome it all depends on what what the animal is. So, 
Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be able to lean to. What about you, Mason? Hmm. Uh, un it's true. I, I, underground takes too long. Treehouse. If I had more time, depends what kind of trees are around there. Um, something open like a hut is no go. Uh, cliff or cave? Yeah, something lives. It. So I guess, yeah, lean to seems like a good reasonable option. And and and, it's, and I don't want to be make it seem like I'd always go against you, Carson. But I also feel like a lean to would fall over in thirty seconds. So I wish there was like a compromise. Like, can we put the to against, like, the cave? It depends when cave? we build it. <laughs> it depends, so, so I guess it I would have to go with lean-to. I'd have to agree with the lean-to. Lean so, yeah, lean-to like, is for me, I know how to build a lean-to. So... <laughs> yeah. What about you, Austin? So, I think... What about you? Yeah, what about you, Austin? Honestly, I think I'd go for a treehouse, but not, like, not like a treehouse. Just kind of, like... Some place to sleep? Something Some, off the ground? Something off the ground. I wouldn't want to be near the ground. See, if the cave was open, Already, though, yeah, that would be an amazing place me. for stuff to, to soar. If. Oh, yeah. If there's nothing living in that cave, that and you're 100% sure of that, <laughs> um, like, say you're on an island and there's a cliff with a cave, but it's a small island somehow. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, somehow. And so you know what's on the island, then yeah, totally. Yeah. Store stuff in that cave. But that also that cave's gonna get cold. Yeah. Real quick. That's true. While exploring the island, you're most relieved to find a tree. Do you pick a banana, a pineapple, a coconut, or a cacasco? Caco. A caco. Cacoa. Cacoa. Thank you. I mean, I mean, when I look at this, like everyone knows, oh, it's gonna be coconuts or bananas. But hey, I love pineapple. Right. So but I guess, first yeah. Of all, um, here's the thing. This kind of is for kind me. Of, this, this, this for, for me, this is a no-brainer. Mm -hmm. The banana. You wanna know why? Potassium. The banana that that the picture of that banana. Oh yeah, come to think of it, are th no 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 like those are uh, that picture of bananas is um, bananas that we're used to. Bananas mm. don't look like that in the wild. <laughs> <laughs> so evidently, hey, there's we're at Walmart. In this island. <laughs> we're at Walmart, guys. <laughs> yeah, like if you look up a picture of what a banana actually looks like, it does it's not, not look that. like it's, that. It's way different. I guess yeah, reasonably, I but would like, okay. prefer a coconut because there is water in there. You gotta kind of think about what supplies you have on you. Like, do you have anything right. open up that? And I can and I can double the coconut shell as spill tools. everything. Getting some shovels, little hand shovels. Yeah, I guess coconut is what I'm gonna go with for that one. For all we know, cacao is probably like fibers to make rope. Yeah. Ain't nobody it's has true. time for that. <laughs> Ain't nobody has time. You don't know how long you're gonna be on this island. <laughs> Man, this is about the, this is the, this is why we're finding out. <laughs> See, more, I would, I would get like more pissed off. I'd get pissed off more than anything trying to weave a rope out of coconut fibers. <laughs> <laughs> I might use it to make like. I can't, like can a, you braid? Like, can you braid? Chinny bed. No. No? Oh, dude, I gotta teach you how to braid. I man. can't braid, but I can make rope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Austin, what would you go with then? Because I think Carson's going with bananas. It's for I'm me. It's between coconut. the. Oh, you're it's going between with the banana and the coconut. I don't know. I think I'd probably go coconut just because. I mean, like you both said, it's, it's water, yeah. obviously, something to drink, yeah. but it's not gonna it, dehydrate you. Yeah. I mean, technically, like out of all can't those, you, can't you dry out? Like you kind of like scoop out the white stuff of the uh, coconut. Can't you like dry it out and eat it? Sure. Or am I just completely crazy here? You're crazy, I think. I think. Eat it Maybe? before you dry it out, but I think you might be able to eat it before you dry it out. But pick a book. Kind of yeah. like, kind of like sugar cane. Pick a book. I don't know what the heck this is. Up I don't know. I think um, I'm probably, yeah. this, Robin Cruz. Uh, we're gonna have some literates come after us because <laughs> I'm illiterate. I would get. I know the Lord of the Flies. I, get... I know Lord of the Flies. 
Yeah, everybody knows Lord of the Flies. I'm picking Lord of the Flies. I know. <laughs> uh, which one seems like it's the thickest book? I don't know. Robinson Crusoe to Google. is a thick book, isn't it? All right, we're going with that one. <laughs> I need I need paper to use as uh, this TP out there. We just have these wilderness. books sitting around off of the ship. Which animal would you try to kill for food? A bear. It's either him or me. A deer, hard to kill but plenty of meat. A rabbit, small and fast but trappable. A fish requires the least amount of tools. I'm gonna tell you right now, it wouldn't matter which one I kill because I don't know which two of it once it's killed. Like, I don't uh, know which part true. of it's food, which part of it's not food. I feel like you can get away with eating fish, though. Meat kind of guy. Just kind of speaking for you. You could just chomp right down to it, and you might, might live. You I might think, live. I think fish is a pretty, fish is a pretty safe bet for right. knowing what's edible. I mean, technically though, everything's edible. And like a, like a I also, I also feel like this quiz is screaming anything. at me. A bear is gonna kill us. So, <laughs> definitely not a bear. A deer is hard to kill, but playing of meat. That's true. And I've done hunting, and I know how to skin and how to butcher a deer. Uh, same thing goes with the Mason, which one? Which, what did you uh, bring on you from the boat? Did I brought the, the hatchet. Oh, that's true. I brought the hatchet. You gonna... <laughs> Come here, little guts. <laughs> so I guess I could take on the bear with my hatchet, though I still feel like I would lose. <laughs> so I guess... I guess... I could get, so... You get eaten by a bear. I you think I'm smart enough to get a rabbit, though. But fish... No, mm. no, rabbit would take too long. Fish, so I, I would have to go knife. with fish. I brought I the knife. All I you gotta hatchet. do is get a stick, take the coconuts, fibers, make it into a rope, tie the, a knife to the to a longer stick. You got a spear. You go spear That's fishing. True. I think yeah. you're technically right there. Yeah. I wouldn't think about that. Right, I'm doing I fish too. I could steal your idea. I was going for the fish regardless. I'd probably make a trap. For the so fish, the fish is so pretty easy to do depending on the current. Another reason why the fish is a good idea is because if you can't make Eat a fire, ice. like say you're in like the Caribbean, it or, or like it's monsoon season where you're at and it's raining, you can eat a fish anytime. Sushi. Where are we gonna get the you rice? You can eat fish raw. You That's can true. eat fish raw. That's true. That's and true. It's, and I, it's, it's okay for me. You've been all around the island and you can't find a source of fresh water. How will you get something to drink? Collect rainwater? Distill salt water. Using solar water still. Seeking a hydration from plants. I'll just drink a little salt water. No biggie. I, we all know the salt water <laughs> biggie one is a bad idea. <laughs> That's a bad idea. That's, a, that's not a good idea. Um... I don't think I'd be able to start fire, to be honest. Unless I had like a lighter, even then it's a little iffy. <laughs> um, so I guess my best bet would probably be either hydration for plants, but even then you never know, kind of. Mm -hmm. Different plants. Man, I'm kind of feeling a little high on this island. They also have. <laughs> just consume the wrong yeah, juice. I think I thought just, depending on what type of season it was, I'd either collect rainwater if it's going to rain. If I knew it was going to rain, probably pretty it doesn't, soon. Doesn't it not like not rain depending in the caribbean not all that much or am i just crazy or are we just a depends. bunch of nerds who depends don't know where it? You're at. Yeah, it depends where you're at it depends where you're at i guess i'm gonna have to go with I probably... are you recording this yes good <laughs> i'm I like want, if you want, want me to remove you from the video i can YouTube. yeah I'm we'll not a fool. On YouTube. Yeah, I'm not a fool. And I want everybody to say how smart I am. <laughs> <laughs> Did you make it so through think, the quiz already? I think I do primarily hydrations for plants. Did you go through the quiz already or no? Oh, I'm, I'm taking it step by step. You're taking it step by step. I'm, okay. I'll go along with you guys. I haven't even... Okay. I'm still on what are you going to get to drink. Yeah, I'm going to hydration from plants. So... And I'm gonna go distilling salt water because I know how to make a fire. I know no. how to distill water from salt water. 
it's not that hard. <laughs> nah. <laughs> what, you, what, yeah, you have a fire? Know. No, it's not that hard. I feel it's like you're just you just boiling, gotta know what but that's you're not doing. right. Especially if you have coconuts. Yeah, yeah. that makes it that Because then you too. got, like, a bowl. See, I feel like you just boil it, but I wouldn't really know. So, Basically, yeah. what you gotta do is you gotta boil it. Mm -hmm. And then what happens is, like, you take, like, for example... A leaf or something, something like with a channel, right? And put it above the water. The oh, water, you get the steam vapors. Will go up. That's and right. And then it will travel down and drip into something. You get the vapors. Why didn't I think of that? That's true. <laughs> Mason, Mason, those little iron was just gonna boil soft water. <laughs> <laughs> Let it go. I put like a leaf in there. It's boy. tea, guys. It's tea. I swear. Start talking to the coconuts. Name one Carson. Name one Austin. Another one over there is Louie. Louie can stay in the tree. Alright, so what are you going okay, with? Austin? Have you guys moved on to the natives one? Uh, I can. Oh. Uh, I was going with the. Oh, primarily the. Plants. Water from plants, because I know that's that would be the easiest one for me to do personally. Right. You've got some French, some not French, some natives on the island, but you're not sure if they're friendly. You walk up and no, introduce, introduce yourself. Pretend to be their god or some kind of wizard. <laughs> Avoid them for as long as I can. Kill them before they kill me. Observe them from afar. But by the time I get to the island, they probably Are already you? know I'm there. Probably. But, um, for me, mm -hmm. it all depends upon where we're at. Yeah, it does. If we're on, like, if we're, like, Car like Caribbean, um, around South America, anything like that, I am getting, I am leaving them alone. <laughs> I am not going to interact with them. <laughs> if we're anywhere else, I would probably go and, like, be like, hey... Obviously, you live here. I need you know, help. Like they, even if they brought I you flowers, what would you? <laughs> yeah. See, I would love. See, I, I'm not as, as extroverted as I am. That that I'd be so uh, distraught that I feel like I'd be become very overly cautious. So I would have to observe them from far. You know, instead of taking that risk. Oh, is there an option for that? Yeah, observe them yeah, from far. That's what I would first do. Yeah, yeah it's same. All right, a unified agreement. You can't stay here forever. What is your exit plan? Find a way to, uh, to signal for help. Build some kind of boat. Start swimming. <laughs> it's really not so bad here. I don't trust myself enough to start a boat. I know I can't swim that well. I mean, I can swim. But I'm not, I'm not so well where I'm stupid. Find a way to signal for help. That kind of goes along with it's not so bad here. You know? So that's what I would go with personally. I think this would kind of depend on how long you've been on the island. Yeah. How long I mean, Wilson's if you're like, been you know, in my ear. If you're like half a year in and you've been like right. signaling people or like not even signaling people if like you haven't seen anyone go mm -hmm. by or anything I, I mean at that point you might as well try to like make a boat or something I'm the one with them staying here but I would because I would I'd totally my, my, my goal is to get out but I'm gonna stay here oh I'm ready to get my result when you guys are I feel like if I mean building some kind of boat sure mm -hmm. it could not go well very well at all i don't know <laughs> i yeah. feel like you could build a decent boat but as soon as you get like out and there's big waves or something that's, that's what i was trouble. thinking plus once you're out on the water it's just you and this boat whatever you brought with you're kind of screwed you don't find <laughs> it's you in this way. boat <laughs> that's all that's all you got left in life so i feel like kind of leaving the island is a bad choice as much as you don't want to be on the island you gotta eat sharks <laughs> Give her your little your little pocket knife spear and shark the. Do you know how to eat it? Do you know what's edible on a shark? The fin. The fin. 
nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Everything I is full of ammonia. Guessed. Except one thing. Except one thing. The, the liver. Oh. The liver. Can I eat the, the eye? The liver is edible. Really? No. Why would Everything you eat the eye anyways? has too much ammonia to eat. My whole life's a lie. Right, what happened to this, right. this legendary shark I'm, fin I, suit? I haven't explained what, I, what, I, what I'm going to pick yet. All right, all right. So Lighthouse. I'm going to pick find a way to signal for help. Because, guys, uh, you washed up on this island from a boat. That's Obviously, true. Obviously, boats come here. Were you here, here for our previous often. conversation, though? Me Before and, you even got here. Me and Carson. No. What was, what was our conversation? Uh, Austin, remember how we started on this adventure? Mm, not really. I'm. No. You're controlling the boat with your freaking <laughs> computer. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just you and me. That, it's, it's not exactly how we got on this island, though. Well, I feel like you decided to shut down the power just so you could freaking play CS:GO or something. Mm. Sure. All right, we're gonna pretend this was this was a little mishap. From the three of us, Carson. That's how we ended up <laughs> on this island. There's actually there's three islands semi close to each other. We all somehow managed to end up on our I'm own just island. yelling at Carson from across the way. Hey! I would go. I'd already eat. Listen, I, I would have already eaten you. <laughs> I just come across the bean. So, okay. So, our, really. so, before when it was just me and Mason here, we were talking about like. Before we found a little quiz, just about like who we thought would live the longest. So I figured I, I figured I'd live the least amount of time. Um, I kind of think, Curse, I think you would live the longest just because you kind of think through things a little more. And <laughs> I would be halfway. I, mean, I, I, I just you, you brunt, kind of brute, just brunt go through it. Things. <laughs> hey, you kind of brute force it. Yeah. All right. So yeah, have you guys ever heard of? Um, before we move on mm -hmm. to, to the results. Have you guys, there's a there's a TV show about they're, they're like people are put on this island for like a month. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Um, and um, they have to survive, but and basically every so often they get checked up by a doctor so that they mm -hmm. don't die. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Um, it's not like a month. It's like it's a lot longer than a month. It's like a year. I feel like. Um. <laughs> But yeah, so they're put on this this um, island for a for that amount of time. So one of the most famous individuals from this from the show, you know what he did to win? What did he do? He laid there the whole month. However, however long he was there, he laid there. Hmm. He just laid down, forced himself to sleep. He That's well, he got like a shelter, just like a shelter mm -hmm. going, right? Mm -hmm. And then laid there. That's what you gotta do. He won. I mean, it works. I mean, that means I'm gonna win. Because I decided to stay here. <laughs> well, he, he, I think he had like a source of water. Right. He found a source of water, built a shelter near it, made sure uh, no animals would come find him, and just laid there. I mean, it's real. All you need. I mean, if you have the willpower just to not go insane sitting there. Right, because mm -hmm. you're really you get, not in trouble. If you at all. don't want to waste that energy. He he wasted his his whole point was he just uh, he wasn't going to waste waste energy. Hmm. There was another one of the individuals built himself a dream home, like he was a carpenter, <laughs> and so he built himself a dream home. He lasted, I don't even know how long this is, how long how long it is, I can't remember. I think it's like six months or something. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a long period of time. Um, he built himself a dream home. He got done with it all. He looked at the dream home and was like, okay, I'm done. That's <laughs> that's all he was there he, for. He, they, they, well, well, no, he, he, he like radioed it and said, I'm done. I can't, I can't stand it. I can't. He, he gotcha. called it quits. He could not fathom not doing anything. Mm -hmm. He'd go insane. And so he called in. Gotcha. So also, I think the last person is Austin? Huh? What do you do, my man? What do you want to do? Are you going to stay there? Are you going to... No, we are no, I, Yeah, I find a way. Oh, I didn't, I didn't hear that. Sorry, my bad. No, you're good. 
No. Go ahead. All right, I'm cal calculating my results. Get Calculate the results. results. All right. Start serving. We're going to click get results. It could be like, pay $5. <laughs> no, let's take a quick survey. Oh. Oh, my God. I'm 65 and older. I'm male. <laughs> All right, what, what was yours they said? I have 68% prepared to be stranded. I would survive about six months. <laughs> All right. Carson, you want to go next, or...? No, you go next. Because <laughs> I, I see uh, a giant uh, smirk on his face. <laughs> so I would survive until I was rescued. I am 80% uh, prepared to be stranded. Mm. I got you beat. 86%. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. See, that? I guess I guess when we think about it, when we're Wait, thinking on, about... What's your description? What's your description, Austin? Do your friends know? <laughs> the time on the island was uh, more of a vacation than it was a survival. We're, We're still not, not sure, sure how you managed, how you managed to, to build Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta figure this out. Life on a deserted island is tough. No toilet paper. No internet. Jeez. But it's better than kicking the bucket, which made you avoid for about six months. I think it's that axe that got you. I think See, it's the axe. this is no... This is what I'm talking about with that thick book. You got all kinds of toilet paper. You're not going to run out. <laughs> I hilarious. think it's the book that got me. I picked a random book. I didn't know which one it was. Yeah. No. Uh -huh. I'm See, not picking Lord of the Flies. I'm going to go insane. <laughs> See, from the beginning, like, from the beginning, Austin, sure, this is just a fun quiz, right? But you never really yeah, know. I mean, it's, it's, it's real you never know till you get there, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody reacts differently to that sort of situation. Yeah. So, yeah, I die. The you end die. of the world. We're not surprised. <laughs> you two like, do you remember Mason? Yeah, he went insane. Remember Mason? <laughs> <laughs>